Capitalism does not oppress blacks. Let me start with that. And let me also say what capitalism is not in its purest form. It's not Wall Street. I remember some time ago, Michael Moore did a documentary on capitalism. He spent all this time on Wall Street. And I was screaming, Mike, Mike, dude, that's not where you'll find capitalism. That's where you'll find managed economic systems. So here's the reason Wall Street, and we all look at it every single day, and the politicians do. But here's why Wall Street's not really capitalism. You see, Wall Street, those companies, they're the ones that pay for politicians to be elected. And then once they're put there, uh, these companies have either offices or lobbyists in D.C. who direct all legislation, in many cases write the legislation for the politicians. And then, of course, when politicians retire, they go work for the Fortune 500 companies on the board of directors or some C-level office. But here's what the legislation does, taxes and regulations. Uh, if you happen to come up with an idea that's really successful and you begin to compete with the big boys in Wall Street, they'll shut you down. And they'll do it through their politicians, through legislation, again, through regulations or taxes, whatever they can do. In some cases, they may buy you out. That's a good thing. But they're going to shut you down regardless. Now, if you're black and you have this great idea and they shut you out through taxes or regulation, you could say that is racism somewhat, except it also happens to whites. It happened to me personally. So that is not capitalism. Let me tell you what capitalism is in its purest, most naked form. And I love this because any American citizen can do this. You come up with an idea that can be developed into a product or service. You sell that to people who are willing to take their hard-earned money to buy it. Boom! You can be successful. You can become a millionaire or billionaire. I love that freedom that we have in this country. Now, Black Lives Matter and the protests going on, they're Marxists in their very being, which means they hate capitalism. And so does socialism and communism. They all hate capitalism and want to tear it down. That's what the protests are about right now. They're no longer about George Floyd. And so I'm going to fight that because they say, you know, it oppresses blacks. Well, no, it doesn't. It really doesn't. And by the way, Fortune magazine just uh, said that the sixth black became a billionaire in America. It was Kanye West. By the way, you know most of the black uh, billionaires. There's only six. You got Kanye, you got Jay-Z, Oprah, Michael Jordan, and then two other guys who are business guys. But there's a lesson to be learned here for blacks, okay? I think most kids, I remember when I lived in Chicago, you could see black kids on concrete basketball pavements five hours a day, seven days a week. But what they need to learn is the way to success is not through basketball or even through, you know, rap. It's through business, coming up with a product that people want to buy. Of the white billionaires, over 600, there are no athletes and only a couple of entertainment people. They're all people that came out of products or services that other people wanted to buy. So no, capitalism does not oppress black people.